UK's contentious Rwanda bill is set to see action. The Home Office will begin to detain asylum seekers across the country from today. The move comes ahead of their planned deportation to the East African country. In the two-week operation, the government will assemble refugees nationwide, including from immigration offices. This as per a report by The Guardian. The detainees will be stationed at deportation centres until being sent to Rwanda. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has said that about 2,220 detention spaces have been erected for the operation. The UK's Home Office has said the first flight is expected to take leave in 10 to 12 weeks. The operation comes just days ahead of Thursday's local government elections, where the Tories are barely holding fort. Lawmakers have warned that the detention could spur unrest in the country. The threats in hand include reopening of legal scuffles over the bill, public protests and even clashes with the police. The Scottish police have put, been put on high alert also, where people have previously managed to stop deportations by staging mass protests. And the wrangle does not end here. The Refugee Council, which is a UK charity, continues to condemn the government's plans to carry out deportations, calling the scheme inhumane. The charity calculates it to cause, quote, catastrophic system meltdown. It has added that the deportation fears will drive other immigrants to leave too, exposing them to abuse and vulnerability. In fact, Ireland and the UK are in a tussle over asylum seekers. Dublin says soon after Rwanda plan have rerouted immigrants to Ireland, causing an influx at the borders. Ireland's Prime Minister, Simon Harris, has asked his cabinet to present proposals to return the asylum seekers to the UK. As per reports, 80% of recent immigrants arriving in Ireland through the Northern Ireland but land borders. Now the UK government has however denied to accept any asylum seekers back. Well for more on this we've been joined by our correspondent Julia Chapman live from London. Julia we spent the past few months talking about asylum seekers in this Rwanda plan and now finally we may be seeing some action. Give us a sense of the significance of what we're planning to see this week. Well, according to reports in the Guardian newspaper, everything is about to get underway when it comes to detaining these migrants that are going to be subject to potential deportation to Rwanda, something that we're expecting to happen between nine and 11 weeks from now after that timeline was set by Rishi Sunak, the British Prime Minister, last week. Uh, and according to The Guardian's reporting, this is going to be happening as asylum seekers attend immigration appointments. They're going to be caught uh, on their way there and uh, they're going to be intercepted and taken into custody for processing uh, as the country gears up to start sending asylum seekers to Rwanda. Now, the reason that's not going to happen right away is that we're expecting some legal challenges to still uh, be met with uh, this plan. Individual asylum seekers will be allowed to legally challenge their deportations. That's a court process that could take some weeks, delaying, if not putting off forever, their ultimate deportation to Rwanda. But certainly this is a controversial period in the Rwanda plan, which, as you say, has been rumbling on for a couple of years now since it was first announced. Uh, there are many who are opposed to this scheme. We are expecting to see protesters attempting to block the removal of some of these people as they are plucked off the streets of Britain. Uh, we understand from The Guardian that police in Scotland are on standby for some sort of unrest when it comes to this situation. So uh, undoubtedly a lot of controversy still, despite the fact that this plan is now in motion. It received royal assent last week after finally uh, overcoming all the political hurdles in the British Parliament. Uh, but as you say, we are already seeing people starting to flee the country, going to the Republic of Ireland through Northern Ireland. There's no hard border in between the two countries, meaning it's very easy for people to get across. And that poses another problem uh, for the UK, although it is insisting, as you say, that it won't be taking anybody back. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak says that just proves that this plan is already working as a deterrent, as he'd hoped it would. Absolutely. And Julia, it can't be just a coincidence that this week Britons are set to go to the polls for those local elections and mayoral elections. 
do you get the sense that the Conservative Party are trying to look like action on asylums taking place in what could be a critical week for the Conservatives and Rishi Sunak? That is certainly one interpretation of the action that we appear uh, to be seeing getting underway as early as this week. The government wanting to look tough on migration. That is one policy area that it likes to think it is uh, the strongest party on. Uh, but certainly, even going into these polls, it is facing a pretty difficult situation. The local elections and mayoral elections in parts of the country on Thursday are expected to be something of a litmus test uh, ahead of a general election, which which is planned for later in the year. There's no date set for that. That's up to Prime Minister Rishi Sunak to decide when it goes ahead. But undoubtedly, everybody will be watching very closely to see how the Conservative Party performs in these local and mayoral polls. Now, uh, migration is not a local issue. It's not necessarily something that people will be voting on when it comes to choosing their local representatives, their council uh, men and women. But nevertheless, it will be a sign of, of how much support has fallen Altered for the Conservative Party. That's the result we are really expecting to see because they have suffered in the polls significantly over the last couple of years. They've been in power for, for about 15 years now and are likely to be uh, seeing big losses at the general election. So lots of eyes focused on the upcoming uh, local elections later this week to see how they fare there. Absolutely. Julia Chapman, a correspondent, joining us live there from London. Many thanks for that insight.